Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about the week in review of my games that I played from uh, July 24th 1st to July 27th. I believe that's the, the week. It's a new series I'm going to try on YouTube to give you guys a summary of what I've been doing on my Twitch stream over at twitch.tv slash Buona. Uh, we started the week out on, um, on Saturday. I guess I'll just start on Saturday. And uh, no, I'll start on Monday. On Monday, we played uh, Fallout 76. Fallout 76, I've been getting into that. And I think this week we put more hours into Fallout 76 than I have probably leading up to this week. Uh, I've been putting a lot of hours into it. Uh, my wife plays a lot of it. She's been helping me out. And uh, I'm getting into the game. It's, it's, it's a lot better than what it was at launch. Uh, it's still it's got some bugs and glitches, but that's the style. But it's nowhere near as bad as the articles and the videos are making it out to be. And it is on sale right now. I'll put a link in the description. You can buy it on Green Man Gaming for 50% off. I think that's still going on. But anyway, uh, we played a lot of Fallout. And my character is level 19 now. And it is uh, it's a lot of fun. I've been wanting to play I actually want to play right now while talking to you guys. We also did a sponsor stream of The Last of Us, The Last of Us on PS4. I actually played this through PlayStation Now, uh, the PS3 version through PlayStation Now. I didn't have the remastered version. Uh, and I had mixed feelings because I, I really believe that Last of Us has a good story. Had you know, It started out really intense. I was like, wow, this is, this is, this is heavy. This is morbid. This feels real. Uh, you know, it, was, it was really intense. Um, sadly... I'm just bad with controllers and it ruined the game for me that I'm so bad with controllers. I, I couldn't shoot anything. Uh, it took me a very, very long time to get used to the stealth parts. Um, and I gave it a while. I mean, I streamed it two days, uh, for about, I think about a total of eight hours. And, um, I, I really, really just couldn't get the hang of the, the aiming. Like when, when, uh, the zombies or whatever they're called, clickers, I don't know, infested. When they were, they were chasing me and I tried to shoot, it was, it was really, really difficult. I mean, I mean, I played Uncharted. I played other shooters, adventure shooters on PS3 and PS4. And, uh, it wasn't nearly that hard. And people were telling me, Hey, one of the last of us has some perks that you can improve aiming. I couldn't even get that far. So while I did enjoy the story, I think I want to watch the story on YouTube or watch somebody else play it. I can't play it. My, my mechanics are just off. Uh, and then after that, we played Overwatch. Overwatch is, uh, Overwatch is getting some great press now because of the two, 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 two healer, two DPS and two tank, uh, meta that's been forming. It's already in Overwatch League and the two, two, two is going to be coming to everyone in a couple of months, I believe. I'm thinking, I think they said August or September. Uh, that those are going to be coming to us. So there's been a revitalization of of Overwatch. And uh, on the PTR, the public test realm or public test server, PTS, if you want to call it that, uh, the 222 is in effect right now. And a lot of people are playing on PTR rather than live because it's that much fun uh, to play over there. It's just that much more fun. Uh, it changed the game. It didn't drastically rehaul it. It's not a brand new game, but it feels very refreshing. It's a shot in the arm that the game needs. So I played some Overwatch for quite a bit, uh, a few days as well. So we've been alternating between that, Overwatch, uh, I'm sorry, Overwatch, Fallout 76. Uh, and finally, we played some Final Fantasy 14. Uh, we got our Eden Rage done for this week. And I leveled my Machinist to level 60. So that's great. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Machinist class. My Gunbreaker on Final Fantasy 14 is already max level. I'm gearing up. Um, tanks are like the main thing I play. Like tanks are, I had all my tanks leveled to 70 before the expansion. And uh, so I'm getting my tank gear first because I have the most classes that high up. Uh, so I've gotten about four or five pieces of gear from the Eden Raids. And uh, I've kind of toned down my Final Fantasy play as expected. Every time there's a new expansion, your play tends to die down when the raids come out. And, you know, you, you start to farm end game gear. You don't have to put as many hours in to do the dailies and stuff. So I've been playing other games. Um, and then Saturday, we had our community day over at twitch.tv slash one, or you can go to one.live. Uh, we had our community day. We started the stream playing, uh, 
marbles on stream it's a game where you can race marbles everybody in the chat basically types a command to put their marbles on the track and they just automatically race you don't have to do anything it's a very good community building game uh we played that for a while and then we uh finished the stream with a lot of overwatch we played some of the custom modes on uh on the uh arcade uh no actually on the server browser we did the diva mode i forgot the name of it but you're flying in space as diva uh, and I actually found a good gun game, uh, which is the mode where you're, it's called Mystery Deathmatch in arcade mode. But there's actually a custom mode that somebody made called Gun Game, which is essentially the same thing. And boy, is it fun. If you don't play anything else on Overwatch, play that. Play the Mystery Deathmatch. You kill someone and you basically switch to a hero, a new hero. Typical of the gun game of old, where if you killed somebody in a shooter, you would switch to a different gun. Uh, in this case, you switch to an entirely different hero, and it's so much fun. I love it to death. So that's this week in gaming at twitch.tv slash buona, buona.tv. This is one from buona.tv. And uh, I, I want to try to do these every week so you guys can get a summary of what I've been doing over on my Twitch stream. I spend a lot of time there, splitting time between there and YouTube. And I uh, just want to give you like a cross summary. Have a great day.